Good morning, Universe. This is Miss Purple speaking. Welcome to the Discover Italia Tour, brought to you by Cabbage One Radio International. Did you know Italy is divided into 20 regions? Let's start from the region where Cabbage One Radio International is located and where my ancestors came from, Abruzzo. It is close to Rome, is the usual reply when we are asked. Few know Abruzzo's exact location, and few know it actually exists. Sometimes we Abruzzesi also have doubts. The model of Abruzzo is strong and gentle. This is how we are described. The peoples who lived in Abruzzo, in fact, were the first to oppose the Roman Empire, and the first to use the name Italia. They founded a league in order to fight Rome, and named it Lega Italica. It was the first Italian army and the first attempt at uniting Italy in one nation. Although the Roman army took severe blows from our people, they eventually conquered the area, but had to compromise. They granted us Roman citizenship. But in any case, we still make the Romans spend a lot of money when they come here on vacation. <laughs> That'll teach them. L'Aquila is the capital city of the Abruzzo region. The name means the eagle. It lies on the slopes of the Gran Sasso mountain, and it is the coldest city in Italy. To give you an idea, Elsa loves coming on vacation here, also because she says, no one asks me to freeze anything, so I can finally relax a bit. The other provincial capital cities are Pescara, which has an important port, Chieti, and Teramo. Pescara was the birthplace of the famous poet and writer Gabriele D'Annunzio. The Abruzzo region is a good refuge from stress and or stressful people. That's why, since the 1800s, famous people, now called VIPs, used to come here to find some tranquility and escape from paparazzi, chaotic metropolises, or relatives. So, if you're searching for a good and cheap hermitage, consider buying a home here. Sea, mountains, lakes, villages, art, culture, history, good food, good wine, like Montepulciano d'Abruzzo. You can find all this in Abruzzo. But Abruzzo is also science. We have the Gran Sasso National Physics Laboratory, LNGS, located under the Gran Sasso, where experiments are carried out in order to discover the secrets of the universe and find more audience for Cabbage One Radio International. Last but not least, the best pasta in the world is made in this region. If you want to buy Italian spaghetti, you'll probably get an Abruzzese brand. Abruzzese people are very welcoming, unless you eat a rosticini with a fork. In this case, you'll be immediately banned from the region. Stay tuned for more about Italy and its culture, places, tradition, and language. Thank you.